I've been working on a Kingdom Hearts inspired game for over 2 years, but recently I was forced to change my game's name. It all began 2 years ago, when I started development on the game and I had to come up with a name. Back then I didn't have a story or a world or anything decided yet. All I knew was I wanted to make a Kingdom Hearts inspired game, and at the time I was thinking of making multiple different worlds that you can travel to throughout the game similar to Kingdom Hearts. And so I started to think of different names of what to call the worlds, and the word that really stuck out to me was realms, which felt like a great alternative to worlds, and all that was left was to attach it to another word, and from all the different ones I thought of, Luminous stood out the most to me, and the idea behind was that the realms were originally luminous, but were then taken over by darkness, and it was the hero's job to bring back light to the realms and make them luminous again. This was all two years ago, when I still had just a few mechanics in the game. Then, the more I kept working on the game, the more I started to realize the scale of this game and how there were many things from Kingdom Hearts that were very difficult to make, and so it was important to reduce the scope of the game. But I still wanted to make a game as magical and fun as Kingdom Hearts, and I didn't want to make any compromises to the gameplay. So I shifted from scoping down the gameplay and instead scoping down the world. Worlds. It is really incredible how creators of Kingdom Hearts are able to create so many worlds with so many different stories, characters, environments, and sometimes even completely different art styles. And that was one of the things that an indie developer like me could not handle all on their own or even with a small team like mine. So that was what I decided to scope down. And instead of having different worlds with different environments, which would require a lot of different game assets, I instead decided to just have one big world where I wouldn't need to make thousands of unique assets to fit different world themes and environments. But compared to the typical scale of Kingdom Hearts worlds, my world will still be quite big and will feel as big as multiple Kingdom Hearts worlds. But then I was stuck with a big problem. The title of the game no longer made sense. What do realms mean in Luminous Realms? I kept asking myself that question. Now that I don't have different worlds slash realms in my game, I tried to come up with different explanations for what the realms meant, but none of them made much sense. It was also making many people confused and made them think that the game has multiple different worlds. Also, to add insult to injury, the title Luminous Realms was a bit of a tongue twister and was hard for many people to pronounce. So I decided to change the name of the game to something else that makes more sense with the world and the story. But at that point, I still was not sure where the story was going. Throughout the two year development, I kept working on different story ideas and I created and scrapped over five to six different story ideas, each of which had some really cool concepts, but they were either too ambitious or too complicated to develop. Some of these ideas were stories with branching paths, stories where you could make different moral choices that would affect the ending of the game and the characters around you, stories where you could approach quests and storylines in different orders at any point in the game. But for my first ever solo indie game, all these concepts were way too ambitious and difficult to pull off. After a lot of trial and error, I finally landed on a story that really stuck with me and was well-rounded and feasible to make. Let me introduce you to Faris, a young Arabian boy living in a modern-day city who is mysteriously transported to another world in the city of Nuwara. Noir is a vibrant yet troubled place under the oppressive rule of the evil masked king. This tyrant has plunged the city into an eternal light and filled it with fearsome jinn that controlled the people and spread fear. You play as Faris, who must navigate this mysterious city, uncover its secrets, and fight to restore peace. Along the way, he will encounter memorable characters, each with their own stories and struggles. These new allies will join him in his quest to defeat the masked king and find a way back to his hometown. This story hits very close to home, as the boy Faris is Arabian, just like me, who goes through similar experiences that I went through as a teenager. I found that infusing my own life experiences into my story made it much more alive and added a layer of realism and relatability to the character and story. I still haven't finished writing all the details of the story, but I did finalize the overarching plot from start to finish and will keep adding more and more details as I keep developing the game. So having finally decided on the story, I was able to more easily come up with a new name for the game. I really liked the luminous part of the name and so I kept that. And for the other word, I kept thinking about how the world is stuck in an endless night and how one of the most influential Arabian collections of stories are the 1001 Arabian Nights. And so I felt it was a perfect fit to put luminous and nights together to form the name Luminous Nights. And so that was the name I decided on, Luminous Nights, a Kingdom Hearts inspired game with Arabian themes and stories. By the way, if you want to support the development of Luminous Nights, you can join my YouTube membership where you get early sneak peeks of the game's progress, concept art, alongside other updates. With the new name, I worked on a new logo for the game with the help of my wife Pluvius, who is a webtoon artist and who is also the main artist of Luminous Nights, creating all the character arts that you've seen so far in this video. This time around, we designed the logo all from scratch and hand-drawn to give it a more unique look and to add more character to it. We also put in a little easter egg in the name, which has both the English and Arabic name of the game in the same logo, so both English and Arabic speaking people can read the logo in their own languages. We also added a crescent moon and an Arabian lantern, as those are one of the most iconic symbols in Arabian culture. And with the 
new logo, Pluvius also designed a brand new poster for the game with both Faris and the Masked King and it all came out really beautiful with vibrant colors and lighting. And with all of this done, I updated all my social media pages, game website and my Steam page with the new name, logo, poster and the new story. But when looking inside of the game, everything is still empty and without a theme. So the first thing I did was to replace the old placeholder character with the new Faris design and I worked with a great 3D artist to create the 3D model of Faris and added him to the game. This 3D artist is called Haunted Yuzu, who you can follow on Twitter, who is also making his own Kingdom Hearts inspired game that you should totally follow. After that I worked on creating new level environments that give the whole Arabian vibe to the game. When it comes to Arabian environments, I have seen too many games, cartoons and anime always show very bland and simple colors when they show Arabian cities. But that is so far from the truth of how much variety there is in Arabian architecture and environments. And so even with the current placeholder assets, I wanted to start showing some of that variety of colors that can be seen in real Arabian cities. Also having the game be all set in a night theme allowed me to really play around a lot with the colors and give a really interesting and vibrant atmosphere with the lighting. I also added a bunch of platforming challenges and added some secret marks that will allow for some more interesting exploration. But the city environment was still feeling a bit empty and dead, so I added placeholder NPCs that are scattered throughout the city that you can talk to. For now they don't have any purpose, but I plan to have much more interesting looking characters, and I aim to have 100% of the NPCs be unique, so you won't find two NPCs looking the same, and each of them will have their own unique dialogue and stories and their own struggles and problems that you will need to solve and help them with. I really love when games have all unique characters which make their worlds feel much more real and alive. And with that I have a more coherent game look with the logo, poster and gameplay that all match the new story. And this all came together just in time for Bit Summit, which is the biggest indie game event in Japan that is held every year in Kyoto. And this time around I got the chance to showcase my game at the event and the reactions to the new theme of the game was really positive. People really liked the whole Arabian theme and many were saying that there aren't many games with these themes and that they are really happy to see a new game with these themes. Also people loved how the game was inspired by Kingdom Hearts and they felt the gameplay was holding up very well. Of course there was a lot of invaluable feedback from people which is going to help me a lot to improve the game moving forward. Speaking of which, anyone who wants to play the game now and give feedback to help me improve it can go to my Steam page and click the request access button which will automatically add the game to your Steam library. And while you're at the Steam page, hit the wishlist button to be reminded when the game comes out. And thank you to everybody from the YouTube comments, the Discord community and Twitter for all their support, feedback and testing. Next after I was done with the event, I started to work on polishing up all the things people gave me feedback on. And as soon as I'm done with that, the next step will be to start start working on the item system and possibly even a synthesis system so that you can earn all kinds of items and rewards from beating monsters and finding secret treasure chests. But making a system like that is quite a complicated task. It involves stuff like creating data structures to store all the items data and algorithms to organize and sort everything. All things that I've never done before. But I've been able to get a better understanding of how to create such systems by learning about them on brilliant.org where they have a dedicated course on algorithms and data structures. And what I really like is how their lessons are interactive which has always been one of the best ways for me to learn. Brilliant is an awesome platform for for learning skills like math, programming, and data analysis. What sets it apart is its focus on learning by doing. Instead of just watching videos or reading, you dive right into attractive problem solving. This hands-on approach is engaging and proven to be way more efficient. If you're a game dev or aspiring to be one, Brilliant can really help you sharpen your problem solving skills. It's not just about coding, it's about thinking critically and tackling problems like a developer. Skills you'll need when solving game design and programming challenges. For those juggling game dev with a busy life, Brilliant's quick, easy to absorb lessons make it simple to learn something new every day, even with a packed schedule. Brilliant also added new programming courses, including a fun interactive Python course with a drag and drop coding editor. You'll pick up the basics like loops, variables, and conditionals in a way that's easy and engaging. So if you're interested in learning in a fun and interactive way, you can try Brilliant for free for 30 days by visiting brilliant.org slash yahyadambos or by clicking the link in the description below. You'll also get a 20% off on an annual premium subscription. I'd like to thank my luminous heroes, Maxter, Ajaz, X Collateral X, Brett Cronin, Supersonic, Brian, Carrick Lamb, and Nathan Osworth. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.